As chairperson of Fela and Fobo, I am beyond excited to introduce to you all our hybrid events programme for our flagship August Fela. This past 18 months or so has had a profound and devastating impact on so many of our lives. Our very world has changed, as has our relationship with it. There is indeed an atmosphere and real sense of community spirit only ever experienced at Fela. That's why we're thrilled to introduce real live events. I want to pay a special tribute to everyone that has made this programme possible as we emerge from the coronavirus pandemic. Our health workers for their heroic and inspirational efforts, our frontline workers, our wider community whose resilience has been nothing short of inspirational. My colleagues on the board of Fela and Fobo, our funders, sponsors and partners, far too many to mention, and finally, our amazing staff team. We look forward to seeing you all this August at Fela and Fobo. Garamila Mayoga. A carja, Falterov, Galonchild, Clar Lunasa, Gavila Safia, Hain, Fela, and Fubal. Friends, you are all very welcome to the launch of this year's 2021 August Festival. The past 18 months has had a profound and devastating impact on all of our lives. The world around us has changed, and our relationship with the world has changed. But Fail and Fubble has always prided itself on the community spirit and resilience of this famous community of West Belfast. And this year's programme of events will be a real showcase and, and tribute to the community here of West Belfast when we aim to put our best foot forward to a local, national and international audience. Before we talk about this year's programme, I'd like to introduce some of our key funders and stakeholders who support the festival year after year. I want to thank Kevin Gamble for inviting me here today to speak at the opening of Fela and Fobel 2021. There's never been a harder time to bring people and communities together than the last year and a half. But as we begin to move away from lockdowns and begin easing restrictions, there's never been a more important time to bring people and communities together safely. Events like this are part of what it means to be community and Fela has established itself as an integral part of the fabric of community. I am proud to support the launch of what promises to be an exciting and ambitious programme, offering a range of diverse events to engage the community and beyond. And I'm looking forward to seeing the events that are due to take place throughout the festival. COVID-19 has had an enormously disruptive impact on all of us, but for those working in the arts and events, there has been no respite. But the attitude of Kevin and his team is typical of the attitude found across our arts and creative sector. They adopted, they pivoted to digital and other ways of delivering, they kept going. I would like to commend all of our creative sector in all its forms for the way that they have adopted to the challenges and have worked hard to keep the sector alive and ready for a return. At their heart, the arts are about people, those who create and perform, those who put the production on or give their time to support the next generation, and those like most of us who get a sense of community, of well-being or joy when they are entertained and when they are challenged. I'm acutely aware of the contribution that the arts make to our local communities, economy, quality of life, health and well-being, and in shaping our standing as a place to live, work and visit, and how they have a vital role to play in delivering social renewal for communities and people impacted by the pandemic. That's why I've been so determined to support the sector and those who work in it. At a time when they most needed it, through the provision of emergency funding programmes and through the establishment of the Culture, Arts and Heritage Task Force, with Kevin Gamble as FELA's director play an important role. I don't underestimate the challenges that still lie ahead and I remain committed to doing what I can to support and encourage recovery and renewal. Festivals like FELA provide the opportunity to showcase the wealth of talent that we have to offer, not just to the local community, but to other areas and to visitors and tourists as they travel and things begin to open. They have a huge potential to enrich the cultural life in the community and can be used to promote all that's positive about the area. And I believe FELA does just that. I'm looking forward to the world-class events that will be on offer with activities to suit all ages, both online and in person, including world-class sports and music events, theatre talks, debates, literary events, visual arts uh, for young people and much more. So I wish everyone a success at this year's festival and encourage you to get involved 
and experience as much as possible. Gor Mila Mayogat. I am genuinely delighted to be able to join you this evening for the FELA programme unveiling. Annually, this is a much anticipated event, but if there was ever a year that people of the city needed engagement and entertainment, then surely 2021 is it. FELA itself is a symbol of triumph over adversity. From small beginnings in darker times over 30 years ago to this island's biggest community festival speaks to the FELA's best traditions of innovation and creativity. This year's festival will see over 250 arts and cultural events, both live and online, encapsulating a breathtaking range of disciplines from theater and live music through political debate, an Irish language program and international boxing. I actually was at uh, the Boxing in the Falls two years ago um, and it was wonderful and, and hoping to make it again this year. Normally this huge undertaking would be worthy of commendation, but this year the program takes on added importance for the opportunity it gives to so many after the challenges of lockdown. This year's FELA will give artists the chance to re-engage with their audiences, to allow performers to return to a live setting and give so many people behind the scenes, technicians, stewards and those in our hospitality sector the chance to return to work and support themselves and their families. Belfast City Council is proud to support FELA and the opportunity it will give to so many this year to express themselves as performers or patrons, online or in person, coming together to celebrate all the talent this city has to offer. I would like to wish everyone a happy and healthy FELA 2021. Jeeve. It's Michel Liam Hannaway, Chairman of the Arts Council of Northern Ireland, and it is my pleasure to welcome this year's FELA programme. If ever we needed a festival, now is the time. Throughout the pandemic, the arts have been our brightest lights, shining out with entertainment to song and dance and music and poetry and arts of all sorts in different mediums. That has been something to lift the spirits of us all. Find themselves unable to engage with audiences on a personal basis. They have created different ways of actually showcasing entertainment. Many artists have embraced digital and online programmes to make sure that they've brought their skills and their entertainment to the people. I think last year has made us us accustomed also to using different types of media to enjoy the arts. And hopefully that will stay with us. While we will never replace the buzz of an audience and the kick we will get out of sitting with, with our friends watching a show. We know now that we can also take on online presence and actually watch shows through different digital media. And last year's fest festival, which was an online festival, it actually shows how important it is. The FELA last year attracted 400,000 people to view over 100 events. That's a tremendous achievement and really has showcased the arts and entertainment within West Belfast, not only across the city and across the island, but indeed to wider audiences. And as for the arts and creative sector, while we thrive on online, thrive indeed in-person interaction, social distancing and lockdown has made that not always possible. But hopefully as lockdown starts to dissipate, we will then start to get audiences back. We in the Arts Council and indeed the Department of Communities who have provided us with the money are delighted to use our emergency funding programmes to support events such as the FELA. And indeed, that has been supported by the Lottery's funding programme. So we're really excited to see the festival begin again. And really, this year, I want to thank the FELA organisers for the tremendous work they have done in putting together such a varied and entertaining programme. So... My final words are, I hope you have a brilliant feeling this year. We all deserve it. 
none more than the people in West Belfast and the FELA organisers. So what I want to wish you is a great FELA. Gora Maegeev. Hello everyone, my name is John McGrillan. I'm Chief Executive of Tourism NI and we are delighted to be once again supporting uh, Fiala and Fobo this year. Uh, the 2021 programme looks really exciting, it looks like a really eclectic mix of events and something there for everyone to enjoy. Uh, Fiala has become a really integral part of the tourism offer of Belfast and brings the city to life at this time of year and um, it's hard to believe that this is the 33rd year of the Fiala and when you look back it's amazing just how it has developed over the, the last uh, three decades. Um, it's been delivered this year in a really difficult set of circumstances. Um, it's been a really challenging time for the tourism industry and not least for those people who have been involved in the development and the delivery of, of festivals uh, within the city. So I'd like to commend Kevin and the team for the fantastic work they've done to get to this point. Um, I want to wish them all the best. So I'd like to say all the best also to the sponsors, to everybody who's participating and all the spectators because I'm sure it's going to be yet again a fantastic event and one that everybody's going to enjoy. This year's programme event is perhaps our most exciting to date with over 250 events right across the city of Belfast showcasing the best of arts, cultural and community events that our city has to offer. This year's programme is also a fantastic platforming piece and opportunity for local artists to showcase their talent and the talent that emanates from West Belfast to a local, national and international audience. Our Talks and Debates programme, which is usually hosted in St Mary's University College, will once again be hosted online this year, but we are delighted to have the return of live and in-person events, particularly at our outdoor series of programmed events for this year's August Fela, including the return of our headline events in the Falls Park, which really showcase West Belfast and put West Belfast on the map as a destination for, for live international world-class events. All information on our programme is available to download on our website, failatbelfast.com, and available on our social media channels, as well as information about how to get tickets for this year's events. We hope to see you all out and about throughout the community of West Belfast and Belfast in general, once again enjoying arts, culture, and importantly, enjoying that community spirit and community cohesion that West Belfast is famous for. So now, Karja, we're going to provide you with a snapshot of what to expect at this year's Fail and Fubbles August Festival. Hi everyone, it's me all here from the Festival's Visual Arts Group. Just to let you know that the exhibitions are going online again this year, so have a look on the website for the link to the virtual gallery. We have contributions from around 20 artists all across Ireland and beyond, and we'll have some landscape, photography and portraiture, so plenty there for everyone. I'm Johnny McKenna, now part of Fela, the youth subgroup. I'm really happy that Fela 2021 was back. To Fela and Fubble in Lena. Kilwar play, G Sprachti, Ux Imakti Simula, Itarli Merchudsanila, Ugus Kajaki, Abata and Vibya, Arish Manina Fosta. Majik Silgamore Dini and Hortarash and Shaw, the Airbell Forest, Ux by Am Ian Takar Fad, Ogin Emilinsa, Merchudsanila.
Akarja, so we hope you're as excited as we are for this year's August Fela. It's been a long time coming and we look forward to welcoming you back in person, live to West Belfast. I want to finish by thanking our funders, our sponsors, our key stakeholders and of course the local community here in West Belfast for the efforts over the last 18 months as we worked our way through this pandemic and for putting West Belfast's best foot forward in a display of culture, arts and community endeavour which will be showcased at this year's August Fela.